We're splitting up some of this. We're about ready to make our fire. We're gonna try to make a fire using friction. We're gonna try to just use our hands. We are going to make Nick Sticks nettle soup. This is gonna be delicious. You want the first bite? <laughs> That is so good. That's amazing. Hey, adventure agents. Welcome to today's adventure. Well, today is gonna be a different kind of adventure. We are still missing one agent. Agent Rex, he's still babysitting that pig. Very important, top secret pig babysitting mission. And so we're making the best of it. We do not want to continue the case without secret agent Darian. We do not want to do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, no way. Sometimes we may have to continue without him, but this time we're just not. The D.B. Cooper case will have to be on hold temporarily. We are out in the forest right now. In our last episode, we went fishing, right? Look, Didn't catch any fish sticks, though. These sticks, they're perfect for a fire. Yeah, you're right. So these sticks right here, just so you know, this is the perfect stick for a fire right here because it's been hung out to dry. So even if it's wet outside, this is your best bet. These dead limbs on trees is your best bet for starting a fire. We might need to start a fire because this time we are gonna try to actually catch a fish, okay? I'm excited, are you yeah, excited? Yeah, we're gonna fuck up for this. No, but you don't have a belt, do you? We need to get you a belt because this is supposed Sorry. to go on a belt in there. I ordered Axel one of these uh, Bear Grylls survival mm -hmm. knives so that he can have one. So this isn't his, his is coming in soon and he's using mine until then. So we got our survival gear here. I got our escape rope. Hopefully we won't need okay. that. I and I have my, my beast of a knife here. We are gonna have a really fantastic time Look, in the woods today. I just chopped off a branch and it's stuck. Wow, nice. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So we found a perfect spot for Axel's knife. We hooked it to his backpack here. So you can pull it out now when he needs it. There you go. And then put it back in. Yep. We need to go find a creek. We are in the middle of a forest right now. A beautiful forest way up in the mountains close by Mount St. Helens. It's a volcano actually. Look at that. Axel, this looks like a perfect spot for some trout. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Whoa, be careful. <laughs> There's a booby trap right here. That looks like you could just fall right down in there. So let's make our way down to this beautiful creek and begin our epic adventure today. Do you see this little pool right here? This is the perfect spot for trout. And look at that stump. Yeah. All right, well, you want to start fishing? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh boy, I am so excited to go on this fishing adventure and I'm so excited to share it with you. <clears throat> what you making there? Spear. A spear? That's a perfect length for this. Oh, nice. Hey, we should spear fish sometime, maybe. One of the first ways that people would catch fish, our ancestors, is by spearing them. All right, Axel. You ready to fish? There you go. Look at that right there. That looks like a good spot. I think we found a nice spot here. Let's give it a try. So we've been fishing and walking and we haven't really found any fish yet or caught any fish yet. I haven't seen any yet. I found this. Somebody littered a lighter. Coffee? No coffee. Really? <laughs> and look, I found it like right next to the water and it works. All right, well, we'll pick up some litter and we'll have a lighter just in case. We don't know. This could come in handy. Put it in my survival pack here. There we go. Muffins. Oh, muffins. You already ate half yours. What else we got? We got Nick sticks, grass-fed beef jerky sticks here. I'll put a link below if anyone's interested. This. Thank you for feeling the adventure. Let's make a fire. Let's go down to 
the marsh down here, and then if we don't catch anything, then we'll try to make a fire, okay? Right here? Yeah. These are some delifish, delifish, delifish. delifish. I got fish on the mind, delifish. <gasps> Delicious muffins that we made for breakfast, uh, this, made, blah, 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 that we made for breakfast this morning. <laughs> They're banana muffins. Mm-hmm. Banana muffins. Mm, look at this creek, man. Hey, this is so pretty. I'm gonna eat my whole muffin. Mm, mm. And the some paper. Oh, I'm not supposed to eat that. <laughs> like every time I eat a cupcake, I eat the wrapper. No. And I spit it out when I no. get all of this stuff off. How many of you eat the muffin or the cupcake wrapper? Don't do that. That is not it good for you. It tastes good for you. <laughs> <laughs> no copy. Ooh. Coffee! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I brought my coffee too. Yep. No muffin paper. Muffin paper! <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the muffin paper. We would only eat that muffin paper if we were starving. Real survival situation, mm. right? No, but we have Nick sticks, so. Mm. We don't need to eat muffin papers. This tree is a giant. Watch this. That is so big. That is massive. Dude, check this tree out, Axel. That is so big. How many hugs do you think I could give this tree? What do you think? Ten. Ten hugs? All right, let's see how many hugs I can give this tree. All right. Ah, there we go, okay. No, five. Right under there, I'll say one. Five. My hand right there. Okay. Two. I get five, actually. Comment down below, how many do you think? Three. Okay. Four. Oh. Five. Wow. Five. Axel was right. Five, dude, give me five. Ah! <laughs> give me five. <laughs> five hugs, give me five. How many hugs do you think you could give the tree? I think you could give it... Eight. I was gonna say eight. Okay, seven and a half. I picked seven and a half. Comment down below, how many hugs could Axel give the tree? One. One. Two. I'll hold your hand right here. Okay, right there. Three. Four, five, right there, six, oh, uh, wow, almost seven, so we were both wrong. Well, how many of you, I wonder, were right no, there? No, it was seven. Guess. It was exactly seven? I said seven and a half, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was closer, but I didn't win. Oh, dude. Check that hideout out. Wow. Oh, I oh, don't want to get in there. Is that mosquitoes? You can sit right here and uh, maybe hunt. Maybe if a deer came to drink some water, you'd be like, gotcha. Something like that, or just observe. Okay, so check this giant out. <laughs> right there. I love climbing across these things. Whoa, this thing must have been a few hundred feet tall. Oh gosh. And then it just fell and crashed. Wow. Yeah, Axel, this tree is probably about a few hundred years old. This giant right here. There's very few of these types of trees left. What? Whoa, there's another giant western red cedar right over there. We will call this place the Valley of the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's all kinds of giants over here that fell. There's one there, one there. They're everywhere.
Wow, this tree definitely has the other one beat. Okay, so we found a perfect spot to do some fishing with worms. So we're gonna give this a try. These are some worms that we caught right by our garden. So we're gonna give these a try now. Mmm, does that look delicious? Hey. <laughs> you should think so. Let's give it a try. Okay, so what I need to do is split this piece of wood a certain way. It's really hard to do with just a knife, but I can do something called batoning. And that's where I get this knife wedged right there. And then I get another big stick like this. I just batoned that right in half. We're gonna try to make a fire using friction. Now we've done this before with a bow drill. Now we're gonna try to just use our hands. Like that. I've never done this before and I've always wanted to do it. Do you think we can do it? No. You don't think so? No, I think we have to use. Axel knows how difficult it is even using a bow drill. Your hands are even more difficult. Oh, you think we'll have to use this? Mr. Coffee. Yeah, see how easy I strike it. Show them how easy that is. Never use a lighter. If you're oh, and look. Thing, it's okay. They took that part off. Yeah. Ah, look how easy that is. But we're going to do it the harder way. So this is called the spindle. First, I'm going to see if I can even get any smoke going at all. So this is western red cedar, and this is salmonberry right here. even hot <laughs> it's a little bit hot <laughs> oh that's actually Ooh. pretty good for first try yeah oh, I'm already tired okay so I'm spitting on my hands now and that helps me get better grip on the spindle I got to push down at the same time uh, that's much better hot it's warm it's not even hot <laughs> you want to try I want to feel it I'm gonna feel it well it's not even warm now oh, it is oh it is okay yeah all right you try now spit on both your hands there you go both hands whatever there you go all right Ugh. <laughs> ew <laughs> yeah oh all right give it a it try you gotta covered. make it go back and forth and... oh look at that wow so you gotta keep the pressure down, grab it with one hand, keep the pressure down, and move your hands up. The point of moving your hand down is just keeping the pressure on it. There you go. Wow. Oh, it's getting hot, but it's not getting hot enough to start burning. Ah, we'll have to learn more about this to figure out exactly how to do it. I could be here all day and I'm doing it wrong and never get it, so. I got another idea though. I'm gonna use flint and steel. And I got this bark and it's pretty dry. If I shave off these pieces here, like that, and crumple it up, I get a little ball right there. See that? Maybe I can get this to catch fire with flint. Making a fire is very difficult. We're splitting up some of this. We're about ready to make our fire. Teamwork. So while I was doing that, Axel split all of these right here. Nice work, bro. We're gonna try flint and steel on this, okay? Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this to take a spark. 
right there. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> you try. So close. It's trying uh, really hard. There you go. Oh. Oh, oh. It's working. Get some sticks. The little ones. Here. Oh, oh. I get more leaves. Quick, 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 quick. Oh man, I think we got our fire axle. That was so hard. Wow, it takes so much concentration to get this fire going. This is called batoning. I think I already said that. So we're trying to make something that's the right shape to fit right into here. Hey, look at that, it fits. Let's see. Huh, that's good enough. We are going to make what? Nick sticks nettle soup. Nick sticks nettle soup. So let's find some nettle. Oh, here's some right here. <laughs> Literally right here. This is nettle. Now this is some nasty stuff. It has these like basically little hypodermic needles with poison inside of them. But if you break it off without touching the bottom side of it, it won't hurt you. And you can eat it raw. You can eat it raw? Okay, you can eat it raw, but you have to be very careful because if it touches your tongue, it will mess you up. Do not try this at home. You have to fold it up really. Oh, I just got stung. Really? Yeah, the needle pokes through the other side of the leaf. So and you just gotta you... squish it up, roll it around to break the needle down. Nah. Your fingers are green. Now you can eat it. Do you dare me to let it sting me? Your I'm gonna, tongue. I'm gonna let. No, not my tongue. I'm gonna let it sting me. Here we go. Get stung by nettle. Ow. Ooh, it got me. <laughs> right there. See? Ah. Oh, it's already a welt. Look, you see Daddy. That? Look, Daddy. All right, what's it taste like? Let's see, he's eating it now. Green beans. Green beans, yeah, it does taste like green beans. <laughs> All right, so let's put that under there. Let's get this fire going and boil us some water. Put us some Nick sticks in there. Oh, <laughs> Nick sticks nettle soup. Oh my goodness, our nettle stew is boiling. Really well. Now we got to put some Nick sticks in there. <laughs> oh, Axel's putting dock leaves in there. Nice. Oh boy, this is gonna be delicious. You gonna put some wood soil in there? Yeah. All right. So here is a good table to. I wanna cut the Nick sticks up. You wanna cut them up? Yeah. All right. Come on and use our table right here. <laughs> there we go. Some small pieces there. There you go. Looking good. Make sure they cut them all the way. There you go. Nice. All right. Put that. Oh, Nick sticks to stir it around a bit, me hearties. There you go. Oh, good shot. Oh, one fell. Don't waste the Nick sticks. Boy, that's looking great. All right. I think our soup is done. Let's go ahead and. 
pick this up, bring it over here. And if we dip it in the water here, it'll help to cool it off. Just leave it right there. Mm. We do this, we don't have to wait so long for it to cool down, right? It's like almost ready to eat, dude. All right, Axel, you want the first bite? It's actually Axel's idea. <laughs> What do you think? Is it good? Tastes like sour nothing. <laughs> Alright, it's my turn here. Let's see. We can't taste it a lot. Good, right? That is so good! Yeah. That's amazing! Sour nothing? What are you talking about? That's the best soup! Like, oh my god, it's so ah, it's delicious! Mmm, get two Nick sticks in there. Ow. The flavor from the, like the salty Nick sticks came out inside the water. It's so good. You like it now? All right, I do too. I'm very sad that, bite tasted like that we didn't get any trout, but I'm so happy that we got to make fire and we figured out how to get that bark to catch a spark. That was very difficult, but we didn't even have to use that. Right, but so we're bearing the evidence of our fire here. All right, well, we are gonna head back if we can find our way back. <laughs> no, we can't, we just gotta follow the creek up that way. We are so glad that you have joined us. Today's adventure was kind of calm. Wasn't a whole lot of crazy stuff going on, but adventures aren't always crazy and loud and wild. Sometimes they're just calm and peaceful and just downright fun. I love these kinds of adventures just as much as I love uh, the other adventures we do. We go out and we solve mysteries, but sometimes you just gotta relax and, and enjoy yourself and, and be at peace. I love doing that, and I'm so glad that we could share this peaceful adventure with all of you. Right, remember, we love you, and we're so glad you joined us today. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye! Look what it does if I pour it one way. <clears throat> yep. It makes the bubbles come up. Uh huh. Do you say bye. bye? Bye. Okay, agents, so we caught a fish. Oh my goodness. But the problem is, we don't know what kind of fish it is, so I don't know if we can keep it. Ah. It's not a trout. I don't know what this is. But it might be too small. And it might be a fish that you're not supposed to eat. So I'm not sure. I better put it back in the water, okay? Dude, isn't that cool? Wait, we're gonna let it go? We might have to. Let's ask mommy. All right, well, we don't know what this is. And we can't figure out if it's the right size. I think it might be a chum salmon. I'm not sure and I can't figure out what the minimum size is for this. We are only looking for trout. Can I feel it? I wasn't expecting to catch something like this. We were driving down this road on the way home and we saw this really neat area to fish. Well, I didn't know we would catch a salmon. <laughs> I think that's what this is. All right, we're gonna unhook it. Get that hook out as quick as you can. Pull down. All right, we got it unhooked. There you go. Maybe somebody else will catch it when you get to be the right size. Maybe it's already the right size. You wanna to try to fish one more time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 